up everyone? I'm Ray and today we are going to be discussing things that you can plant in your garden in the month of June and July. I'm in zone 9A so most of this will apply to zone 9. Whether you're in 9A, 9B, just zone 9. Um, but I do talk to you about the things that I can plant in my zone wanting to share with you guys. I will have a blog post on this. The link to the blog post will be down below as well as you know answering any questions you have in the comments some of these things are things i've planted before some are things that are going to be new to me growing this year i've let my kids kind of help pick things out that they want planted oh if you have recipes to any of these things that you guys recommend or to help with kids with picky eaters post those below um and without further ado let me pull my phone and get started on the list of things we can grow Okay, so most of June and most of July, the plant things you can plant are going to be the same. So for June, you can plant beans, eggplants, kale, okra, parsnips, peas, pumpkin, and sweet potatoes. We love eating potatoes, sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I think I'm the only one in my family that really loves sweet potatoes, but I'm planting them. And I plant them just about every year because whatever I don't eat, if we get a big yield, I can either donate to local families in need, I can give them to my chickens, I can cut them up, cook them, and give them to my dogs as well. So I have a bunch of different ways that they'll definitely will get used and they won't go to waste. Um, beans are something that we grow pretty much every year, as well as kale. Kale I am replanting. <laughs> And it took out my kale plant, and I'm super bummed about that, and we love kale. Kale is a good thing. One new thing I'm planting this year are parsnips. My son is requesting them, and if he wants something, I will sit and grow it for him, and especially when it's healthy. So if you have good recipes for parsnips for picky kids or just kids in general, post those below in the comments. I will respond to them. I will let you know if we try them and how it comes out and all of that good stuff. Uh, yes, Nana? You hanging on the magnolia tree? Swinging? The little girl is swinging. My son's not here right now. He's with his grandma. So, moving on to things you can grow in the hearing zone nine um you have beans again eggplant okra peas pumpkin and watermelon we will be growing watermelon it is such a good good summer fruit we love it we buy so much watermelon locally and grow it as well there's always enough people in my area that grow it early or they'll grow it elsewhere and then bring it here and so i shop a lot at the farmers markets and try to do all of that so most of what we do get if we didn't grow it here it was grown locally or grown by a farmer and I absolutely love that. My kids love watermelon, the chickens love watermelon, the dogs love watermelon, so that gets grown here. I probably won't be doing too much planting in July unless I do succession growing, which I might do. I'm very limited on the amount of garden space I have right now, so I'll be pulling up my potatoes, which the garden bed's over here and whatnot, so I'll be pulling those up here soon because those are just about ready for harvest or will be in the next couple weeks. And over here in the garden bed we'll do parsnips, kale will go in a pot, and then pumpkins will be going into the ground in their front yard garden because we have a little garden area up there and we're constantly trying to grow that out. So, with that being said, hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!